Do you mind? Oh, I'm so sorry. I was I was looking at your shoes. I didn't mean to be rude. I'll, I'll leave now. Hey, Tim. How you doing? Not very good. I think I'm going to walk to work. I'll see you there. What did you say to Tim? I caught him staring at me and he claimed to be looking at my shoes. I don't think you understand. Why don't you let me tell you a story? The year was last year. As they strolled upon the midnight hour and cuddled in the cold air as they walked and all that junk, they confessed a true love to each other. And finally, Tim was about to make the magic moment special by proposing his love. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a UFO comes and sucks that broad right up into the ship and also zapped him with the laser. No! Hours later, he woke up, but she was gone. Oh my god, I had no idea. Yeah, but still, the waters, they run deep. So do you think that story is true? Do you think his girlfriend really got abducted by aliens? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, hello there, buds. How's she freaking going? Ah, uh, hello. Well, you want to tell me why you're nine feet tall and freaking green? Oh, uh, no, I'm not nine feet tall and I isn't green. I, I'm just a Canadian. I don't know. I've met Canadians and very few are this green and none are this tall. Why, it looks like you'll be coming with me. I've killed all the aliens. Come with me if you want to live. That was my friend and she wasn't an alien. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, j just jump in. Can I ask where we're going? We're heading to the portal. And where does the portal take us to? We're taking the portal. The Saska Yeti. Ooh, what the hell's a Saska Yeti? Is that in Canada? I'm not Canadian. I'm a freaking Sasquatch. Now shut up, get off the bus, and get into the freaking cave, bud. I don't want to go in. It, it's really scary. Shut your filthy human mouth and get in the cave before I shove my giant foot so far up your freaking... <laughs> oh my god! Where am I? Hello, human. Don't be afraid. What do you want with me? Why am I here? Why we want your shoes, and we want to know how you operate them. My shoes? Why would you want my shoes? You really don't know, do you? Well, let me tell you. Many years ago, I think around one year ago actually, there was a very special girl and she was wearing a very special pair of shoes. Let me guess, they were just like mine. Oh, humans are smarter than we thought. You're correct. There's a rare, rare rubber used to make the soles of your shoes and we need them for our engines. Before there was peace in our solar system, both planets coexisted, holding each other in a perfect orbit to the sun similar to the Earth's. 
At first, there was enough resources for everyone. But over time, the resources shrank. Our elders collected what was left of the resources to try to prevent war with the others. Both of our elders took what was left and forged it together to make four special shoes, which were hidden on the planet Earth to prevent the wars. The Sasquon Yeti were the first to fire, but inevitably the war began. And that brings us back to where we are here today. <laughs> so what happened to the other girl then? What did you do to her? Oh, don't you worry. She's still alive. Would you like to see your little friend? Yes. You're alive! Yes, and you shall remain alive as long as you give us the shoes. What will you do with the shoes? We will use the resources to make weapons to win the war against the Sasquanetis, and then we will enslave them. I don't know about her, but I'm not going to let you take mine. Well, I guess it's settled that you won't leave the ship. Ugh, ugh. Looks like the situation just changed. No! Now you're going to pay! That one's from my friend. And that one's from me. I guess Earth just canceled your plans. We got big dreams, Lord Fish Supreme, Queen Fishy right beside me in the gleam. When we feeling frisky, pure than whiskey, check our flow, watch us go, never tricky.